a little more physical today. Yeah, you know, we're, we're building up to uh, to where that's going to be a, a big part of practice. You know, we got you know, to kind of getting into the grind. I really like the way our schedule's falling with the, uh, the Easter break coming. You know, we're able to be pretty physical today, and then we're going to get after it in the morning early, and, and then they have a three-day break before we come back and have two four-day weeks of practicing. So uh, those two four-day weeks can be a grind because you're asking to do a lot, not only practice, but lift, be in meetings, academics, so uh, it's not a game that we play necessarily that, that keeps our focus where it needs to be. So, but it's a great lesson for our team and part of the maturing process that we've got to go through to uh, to be you know, one of the better teams in the country. What have you thought about BT for those of us who are getting back for the first time? Really impressed with the way he's moving around, his energy. Um, he doesn't know what he's doing right now within the system, you know. But uh, no question, you look at him in one on ones and how physical he plays. And he's going to be a big asset to us. Was there any initial? of his time away? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you know, it's just some things are probably natural to him two years ago. Or, I mean, it's a long time to be off from uh, competing, but it's coming back to him pretty quick. Denzel and Cody, in terms of leadership? Really well. Totally two different leaders, two different types of, uh, of personalities, but um, both are, are definitely leaders of our defense. Part of it is Denzel and Mike and Charles and, you know, been real pleased with the way <laughs> Denzel brings it every single play. And then as does Cody. And Cody's kind of, I think, helped some of the other guys in the back end to you know, be uh, maturing in, in what they're doing. Chris Paul today, you know, offense looked pretty good. Well, we did that for you. I'm tired of you writing that the <laughs> offense is sticking it up every day. So we might all give you something to, to, to write about. Um, you know, I, I think any time we're in tempo, our kids feel better. And, you know, I know you guys realize it from watching this, but when we do a scripted deal, you know, we get a lot more jump from the defense than you do when you're in your tempo. So, again, that's the whole premise behind it. So, uh, uh, if Red Ball today was really good. We still had to execute, you know, I think we were three for three on drives and that. So, it, that, that, was, that was a good start for our offense today. I thought our offense held our own in that second down competition. Good. How's your offensive line development? Well, we still got a ways to go. You know, we've, we've lost another one. Chase Hughes has got a torn label, so uh, we're just real thin there right now, missing him, him and DJ and then Aaron, of course. And then you know, uh, had, uh, had a kid, you know, decide to transfer also. So we're, you know, we're just short-handed there. But uh, the ones we have, they're, they're they're on a lot of reps. They're having to rotate, trying to take each other, take, take care of each other to get through the practices properly. With Evan going into his second year, it, who's that? With Evan Swindle, mm -hmm. second year at center. What about the learning curve there. How much better do you see him being this year? Um, learning curve, he's done really well. You know, he we actually we count on him to do a lot of things up there for us and help the others be sure we're on the same page. And certainly, a second year in this will only help. And, uh, and his love for the game and for this place is, is going to make him be get better every year.